Hi, my name is Tom Hines. I'm the product manager for SmartCast Technology at Cree. I'd like to talk to you a little bit more today about SmartCast Technology. It's a revolutionary new lighting control technology that we introduced uh, very recently and are showing here at Light Fair 2014. Traditionally, lighting controls have been complicated and expensive to put in place. It's been a barrier to their adoption. When we look at some basic lighting control strategies like daylight harvesting, motion sensing, and dimming, we have a huge opportunity for savings. Moving from fluorescent, uncontrolled lights to LED lights with daylight harvesting, motion sensing, and dimming, we could save as much as 70% energy. So why aren't more people using lighting controls? It goes right back to the complication and the expense of it. There's more things to design. We have to do sensor layouts and one-line diagrams. There's more things to install. We have extra equipment we have to put. Oftentimes, we even have extra control wires. And there's more things that we have to set up. It's more time we have to spend, or it's more money that we're spending to get those controls set up and giving us those great benefits. With SmartCast technology, we tried to bring lighting controls back to being as easy as fixtures and switches. And we did three things with SmartCast technology to be able to do that. The first thing we did was we installed sensors on every single fixture. So we installed a motion sensor and an ambient light sensor into the fixture itself. Eliminates the needs for sensor layouts and one-line diagrams, eliminating some of that extra design that we have to do with lighting controls. The next thing that we did was we installed wireless communication directly into the fixture. This enables fixtures to talk to fixtures, fixtures to talk to dimmers, eliminating the need for control wires, greatly reducing the amount of equipment that we need to install on a project. The third thing that we did, a very important thing, was really focused on the setup. The third thing we did was create something we call one button setup. And this is really key to bringing lighting controls back to being as simple as fixtures and switches. What I want to do is show you one button setup in action so that you can see what we mean. So what we've got going on in our booth right here is we have two identical rooms. Each room has two fixtures and a dimmer installed in it. Right now, the fixtures are giving us 100% light output. They're ignoring their, sen they're ignoring their sensors. They're waiting for us to tell them it's time to set up. The way that we do that is using our configuration tool. So we turn, install fixtures and switches, turn on our configuration tool, and right now it's telling us it's ready for one button setup. So we're gonna go ahead and press the OK button and the fixtures and switches are gonna take care of the rest of it for us. This is all the work we have to do. So the first thing that's gonna happen is we're gonna set up the network. We're gonna, figure, we're gonna let the fixtures and switches figure out how they need to talk to each other. So we're gonna find a quiet channel to set our network up on. After we've done that, we start finding devices. All this process is being described to us on the tool. So we've got a graphic on right now that's telling us we're finding devices, and it'll count up the devices that it's found. It gives us the ability to make sure everything we installed, we found. As fixtures are found, they dim down, and they get an address. Similarly, each dimmer will have its own address. So far, we've found six devices our four fixtures and our two dimmers. After we've finished finding devices, lights are going to begin to come back up to full light output, and that's going to signal that we've started what we call connecting. With connecting, all the devices, the fixtures, the dimmers are figuring out how they can talk to everyone else. This is going to be important as we continue down this one button setup. So our, so our lights have come back up to full. They've done their connecting process. The next step that we're going to do is our daylight harvesting calibration. When that process begins, the lights are going to turn off as they just did. On our tool, it's indicated the lights are off and we're doing daylight harvesting calibration. Every fixture is taking a measurement with its own ambient light sensor. It's going to take that measurement with the lights off. The lights are going to come back on and we're going to take that measurement again. With taking these different measurements, we're able to do our one button setup and our daylight harvesting calibration anytime in the day or night. Again, trying to make it as easy as possible to do the setup of SmartCast technology and to enable lighting controls on your project. Now that they've finished their daily harvesting calibration, they're going through a learning phase. During learning, every fixture and dimmer is trying to find out what's near me, what's in the same room as me, and what's not in the same room as me. It's going to be key to us forming the groups automatically. During the learning process, each fixture emits a unique light pattern. When it does that, all the other fixtures and dimmers are looking for that light pattern. Once it fi finishes that, the devices will share what they saw. They compare how well that they saw each other. And from that, we're able to get our groups. We're able to get groups that make sense. The open office is in a group. The private office is in a group. The conference room is in a group. The hallway is in a group, and so on. So we finished our one button setup process. In just two short minutes, we went from an uncommissioned system 
to two rooms that are operating independently and doing what we expect them to do. Daylight harvesting calibration is working. The lights are going to be looking at the ambient light sensor and what they're reading, making adjustments to their light from that. They're sharing information about their motion sensors. So as long as one sensor in a room sees us, the lights stay on. When no sensors see us, the lights will go off. And then lastly, the dimmers on the wall are controlling those lights. So the dimmer in each of these rooms is controlling the lights in the rooms. We have exactly what we need in terms of control from them. That's SmartCast technology, simple, co-compliant lighting control, as easy as fixtures and switches. To learn more, visit our website, cree.com smartcast.